We're gonna create this animation with some anticipation and some squash and stretch and some overlap at the end. Enjoy. Let's create a circle on the left side. Hold down shift to make it a perfect circle. And then I have this tool to move the anchor to the center. Move anchor point, if you don't have it, you can download it. And then we're talking about anticipation. So let's go to position by pressing P. Let's right click on position, separate dimensions. And then let's set our keyframes. So we're focusing on the X. So let's set one at the beginning. Let's move up a little bit and then go to the right, to the left. And then let's go up again. And then we're gonna set all the way to here. And we'll actually go a little bit forward. We'll go back. So once you have those set, I would select them all and then press F9. And then we're gonna go into the graph editor and do the magic. Let's just preview what we have. I pressed N and then so we have a rough anticipation. So let's make it better. So let's highlight all of these, jump into the graph editor, only select the X. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit and then see what we can do. So I'm just gonna manipulate this a little bit. Um, maybe make this a little bit faster. And that kind of slows down. So I just kind of made this shape. See there's like a little anticipation at the beginning. Yeah, that's it, anticipation. Now if you want to get crazy with this, we can apply some squash and stretch. And so that would be the uh, the scale. What you can do is you can unlink it so that you can manipulate either side. And so when it goes to here, so I'm gonna set a keyframe here and then when it goes to this one, I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit and make it a little bit skinnier. And then when it's here, I think it's going to be the maximum. And then here is just, let's see, maybe it'll be the same. And here it's going to, it's going to go back to normal. So our normal was a hundred. So kind of, I'm actually going to just type in a hundred and a hundred. And then I will I'm gonna put this keyframe. Let's just see what we have. That's nice. Squash and stretch makes it a little better. 